Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. Safe handling and preparation of food are crucial to ensuring food safety, whether you're a vendor at a farmer's market or the world's largest franchise. Any type of contaminated food could be life-threatening, but there are a number of foods around the world that require extreme care and precision during preparation to avoid causing severe illness or death. You've probably heard of fugu, the Japanese delicacy, that must be prepared exactly right if you don't want customers to asphyxiate in your dining room. But there are more than a few foods that can kill when not prepared correctly. Here are 11 of the world's most dangerous foods. Number 11. Aki. Aki is the national fruit of Jamaica. Originally native to West Africa, it was brought to Jamaica as part of the slave trade in 1778. Not all of the fruit is safe to eat. The Aki fruit is deadly if it's eaten before it's fully ripe, and it needs to be carefully prepared. It can only be eaten when the outer pod is red and opens on its own, and when the flesh around the seed, the aro, is golden in color. The black seeds are always dangerous. Immature acute contains a toxin known as hypoglycemia. This toxin blocks fatty acid metabolism and forces cells to start using segan to gain energy. Once the glycogen is used up, the body is unable to produce more, and this results in a deadly case of hypoglycemia. This is also known as Jamaican vomiting sickness. Apart from obvious symptoms that give the illness its name occupies mean can also lead to coma and death. Aki is so dangerous that it's banned in the United States. However, sometimes it is possible to get the canned version that has already been pitted. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 10. Wild Mushrooms. For many people, no trip to the woods would be complete without mushroom hunting. Many wild mushrooms are safe to eat, but if you aren't 100% sure about what you're doing you could be in trouble. The safe ones often have look-alike toxic cousins. Eating toxic wild mushrooms can be deadly. There are many dangerous mushrooms, but one of the most lethal is the aptly named death cab mushroom. Mushroom poisoning causes abdominal pain and violent vomiting, and more than half of the people who eat death cap mushrooms slip into comas and eventually die. Experts say that if you don't know for certain which mushroom you're picking, you're better off leaving well enough alone. Even experienced mycologists people who study mushrooms have been known to make fatal mistakes where wild mushrooms are concerned. Another interesting but dangerous wild mushroom is the inky cap, which is also called tippler's bane. If this mushroom is eaten within a few hours of drinking alcohol, it becomes poisonous. Causing flushing, vomiting, and heart palpitations, the more alcohol you have, the worse your symptoms will be. Number 9. Hakarl. Hakarl is the national dish of Iceland. It's made of the meat of the Greenland shark, which is poisonous before it's properly processed. The meat has high levels of uric acid and trimethylamine oxide, which is a natural antifreeze that protects the shark in cold arctic water. It makes sense right? These chemicals are present in such high concentrations that only a few bites of uncured meat are enough to kill you. To prepare the dish, the poor shark is gutted and beheaded, then it is buried and gravely sanded. Once it's buried the sand is covered with heavy stones which are intended to press on the shark meat. The meat is left to ferment this way for 6 to 12 weeks, and then it's dug up, cut into strips, and hung up to dry. While it's drying a brown crust forms which have to be taken off before the fermented meat can be cut into small pieces and served. Hot carl tastes strongly of both ammonia and fish, and people who didn't grow up with it report having a terrible time trying to choke it down. But if you need food that won't spoil for long periods of time while you're exploring the freezing surroundings, then hey, this is the dish for you. Number 8. Cassava. Also called yucca cassava is a resilient and hardy plant found in the arid climates of Africa and South America. It's incredibly drought resistant and is a major source of calories starch and carbs. It grows well where usually it's tough for people to find enough to eat. The part of the cassava that's used most often is the root, which can be eaten whole, grated, or ground into flour for bread or used to produce tapioca. 
Unfortunately, cassava contains something called anti-nutrients, which are plant compounds that prevent the body from absorbing vitamins and minerals from food. That's not the only drawback to this widely consumed crop. Cassava also contains a substance called cyanogenic glycosides, which release cyanide into the body when the plant is eaten. This can lead to cyanide poisoning, which on the mild end impairs thyroid and nerve function. On the other extreme, it can lead to paralysis, organ damage, and death. People with poor protein intake are more likely to develop cyanide poisoning from eating cassava, so people in the areas where this plant grows are perversely at a higher risk of eating it. Cassava also absorbs pesticides and harmful chemicals from the ground which might cause cancer in the people who eat it as part of their daily diet. Number 7. Blood Clams. This one with a very unpleasant name, Blood Clams, are saltwater clams that are found along the Pacific Rim all the way from South Africa to the coast of Japan. They get their name because they contain very high levels of hemoglobin in their flesh, which causes their juices to look like blood. They're very popular in Indo-Chinese cuisine, and those from Korea, are considered to be of extremely good quality. Unfortunately, because they grow in poorly oxygenated water, they are also known carriers of the bacteria and viruses that cause hepatitis dysentery and typhoid. A crop of Chinese blood clams was blamed for a hepatitis outbreak in 2009. Nobody wants that, is it really worth it for some bloody-looking clams? No. Number 6. Kasumarzu. It's Sardinian maggot cheese. It's a delicacy in Sardinia and Corsica, you know, where Napoleon was from. It's even considered an aphrodisiac. Kasumarzu, which literally means putrid cheese, is made by taking whole pecorino cheese outside, cutting off the top of the rind, and leaving them open to the air. The female of the phyllope, like a safe lie, comes and lays her eggs in the cheese, leaving behind up to 500 eggs every visit. The eggs hatch and the maggots begin to consume the cheese. As nature runs its course, the maggots' digestive juices break down milk fats and cause the cheese to ferment at a very rapid rate. They also create a watery substance that leaks out of the cheese as it ages. By the time it's ready to be served, each costume Marza cheese contains literally thousands of 8mm long maggots. Now, believe it or not, it gets worse. It's believed that the cheese is only good while the maggots are still alive. The cheese is therefore spread onto flatbread while the maggots are still present. Because they can leap up to 15 centimeters when they're disturbed. People eating a costumed Marza flatbread sandwich have to cradle it in their hands to keep the maggots from escaping. Some people don't want to eat live maggots, but there are only two ways that Kasu Marzu aficionados accept for solving that problem. In one method they take the cheese and seal it up in a paper bag. The maggots start to suffocate and jump around in the bag looking for freedom, making a sound like popcorn being popped. When the bag gets quiet, then the maggots have all suffocated, and the cheese is ready to be eaten. The only other acceptable method of killing maggots is refrigeration. When a live maggot is consumed, it can survive in the human gastric system, causing an illness called pseudomyosis. The maggots continue to do to living human tissue what they started doing to the cheese. Is anyone else feeling a little nauseous? Hope you weren't eating just now. I recommend waiting to eat until after the video. Number 5. Absinthe. Also called the Green Fairy, this liqueur was a favorite of the Victorian artistic set and goth scene members everywhere. Everyone from Vincent van Gogh to Ernest Hemingway drinks absinthe, and Toulouse Lautrec even mixed it with cognac. You know, because it's not strong enough already. It is a mixture of wormwood, sweet fennel, and sweet anise which gives it a strong licorice-like flavor. It's a very strong alcoholic drink that's rumored to have addictive hallucinogenic properties, and over the years absinthe has been blamed incorrectly for causing madness, suicide tuberculosis, and epilepsy. Even though the drink might not actually cause any of those illnesses, it does carry a toxin. Wormwood has a substance called fujone which affects your brain by blocking GABA receptors. This can cause painful convulsions and is toxic in high doses. The drink's addictive effects are due to the strength of its alcohol content since absinthe is about 60-70% to 70 alcohol, you will die of alcohol poisoning long before the food has a chance to do you in. Number 4. Fugu. 
Chefs in Japan train for years to learn how to properly prepare fugu or pufferfish for the table. The preparation and sale of fugu are heavily regulated because the fish is so extremely dangerous. The ovaries, intestines and liver of the pufferfish contain a poison called tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times more lethal than cyanide. In fact, this toxin is so deadly that a piece of flesh smaller than the head of a pin is enough to kill a person, and each fish carries enough poison to kill 30 adults. Tetrodotoxin poisoning is rapid and painful beginning with numbness around the mouth which quickly proceeds to paralysis followed by death. There is no antidote and the victims remain aware of their suffering for the entire ordeal. More than 20 people have died from fugu poisoning in Japan since 2000, but that doesn't stop people from ordering it. There are more than 40 different types of pufferfish caught and sold in Japan. Every year people eat more than 10,000 tons of fugu. Number 3. Sanakaji. An octopus that's properly cooked and prepared is not a problem. It's the way it's served in Korea that can be deadly. It's called sanachi, and it's not just about the taste. It's rumored to boost a man's sexual stamina. Sonakshi is the wriggling tentacles of a baby octopus that was seasoned and chopped up while it was still alive and served immediately. This means that the suckers and tentacles are still active and squirming around while you're trying to eat them. Your food is literally fighting back while you're trying to swallow it. That's because each leg has a little brain nerve in it that keeps on going even after it's been separated from the body. The suckers can grab the inside of a human throat and can cause diners to choke to death, which makes this dish both cruel and dangerous. Beginners first before swallowing, or this little octopus might just stick to your throat to get its revenge. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 2. Bean Sprouts. Who knew right mung bean sprouts are featured in many Asian dishes, and they're a deliciously crispy and moist addition to a stir-fry salad or sandwich. Brussels sprouts have long been featured as a part of the clean eating movement and for good reason. They can be very beneficial, but these innocent-looking guys have a dark side. But don't we all? The FDA recommends that pregnant women, children people with depressed immunities, and the elderly should avoid eating bean sprouts including alfalfa sprouts completely. This isn't so much because of the sprouts themselves. It's because of the way that they're grown. Beans and seeds need warm humid conditions in order to sprout, and these conditions are also a perfect environment for bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. In 2011, bean sprouts grown in Germany were linked to an E. coli breakout in Europe that killed 22 people and sickened hundreds, if not thousands more. The sprouts should be fully cooked so that the risk of bacterial infection is negated so much for those fresh sprouts on your sandwich. Number 1. Fruit bat soup. Come on, who doesn't want to eat that? I'm just kidding. I know you don't. When guns were introduced to Guam, it suddenly became easier for locals to kill and eat their indigenous fruit bat, the Mariana Flying Fox. This doesn't sound so bad unless you're the bat, but researchers noted that once the natives started using guns, there was a sudden surge in a neurological disorder that was the nightmarish combination of Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's disease, and Alzheimer's. It came to be called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis Parkinsonism dementia ALD PDC. This illness causes muscle weakness paralysis dementia and ultimately death. In the village of Atomic alone, one quarter to one third of all deaths between 1944 and 1953 were attributed to the disorder. The Mariana flying fox enjoys eating fruit, especially the fruit from the fern-like cycad tree. This fruit contains a neurotoxin that accumulates in the flesh of the bat over time. When people eat the bat, they ingest the neurotoxin all at once, and that is what causes this new disease which continues to afflict traditional eaters in Guam today. Fruit bat soup is made by taking a freshly killed bat washing it, and then boiling it whole in coconut milk and whatever else you want to put in there. People will eat the whole thing down to the bones. What do you think? What do we humans need to do for a safe food cycle? Let us know in the comment box down below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel.
Press the bell icon for more amazing videos.